you've scanned your pages, you can turn off the scanner and you'll be working for the next stage exclusively within the advanced TIFF editor. First of all, you need to select all the pages. The easiest way of doing this is Control A. And we need to rotate them so that they are all aligned correctly. I'm going to rotate page left. And then going to make it full screen so you can see what's going on. Now you have, as you can see, a lot of material around the pages that is not going to be needed. The uh, page edges can be cropped off. Again, making sure that you are, all the pages are selected. Tools, crop, select. And here you see you can move the, the square over the parts of the page that you want. And these sliders in the middle will help you to, to to fix the center of the page. What you're looking for is an equal space either side of the text which shows that you've got the, the page centered properly. And then you click on OK and OK again and that crops the page for you. Next you want to split the page. pages, split pages. The preview shows you a red line down the centre and that looks about the centre of the page to me. So again I'm going to click on OK. There we have John Wesley himself. I'm going to make that page full size again. So we can, we've got the maximum amount of magnification that we need. I'm going to use the selection tool to crop off the parts of the page that we don't need. Now you can select and then right click and cut and you can see that gets rid of all the, the grey and the marks. An easier way is to use the mouse to select areas and then control X to cut. That means you can both use both hands Don't worry about this image not being straight. We can fix that later. And this page we don't need, so we can just delete it. Again with the selection tool, remove the page edges. Alt X, uh, Control X will, will remove your black marks and this is a spot there and take that out. Now that, that page is not quite centered so I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to do Control X then Control V and paste it back but then you're able to center the text and then click off it and that's centered the text for you. And again crop using selection tool I'm going to drop that down the page as well as centering so if I do that that uses the page much better as we process it using Adobe you'll see how these skewed pages can be rectified this page is particularly bad. Again, so we want to center that image by cutting it and pasting it back into the middle of the page. Once you've got the rhythm of this, you can move very quickly with it through a long document. Though I wouldn't scan more than 100 pages at a time. Uh, I don't think the software is able to cope with much more than that. The file size becomes too great. And also if something goes wrong then that's an awful, awfully large number of pages to have to rescan. So if you've got a long book then do it in blocks 
and uh, then you can join the Ad Adobe PDF files together at the end and make one lo one large file right that it looks like it is more or less ready to move on to processing with Adobe Acrobat Writer.